Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and after all of these suggestions made by some of you or quite a few of you and also some of you having talks of actually trying to learn the multiple bus and it got me really pumped from it. We are now finally going to try to attempt to learn the multiple bus and if you don't know what the multiple bus is, here's a quick video of pin spinning central doing the multiple bus. And so if you haven't checked out pin spinning central channel out yet, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you to check that out. That was the multiple bus. Now I don't want you to get your hopes too high when you're watching this video and I think anything that's three bus or more is considered a multiple bus but if you're doing a twisted sonic bus with another bus I think that's just not considered multiple bus. I think that's actually called a double bus. So with that being said we're just going to do three bus total in this video. We're not going to do the uh, like crazy high amount like you saw in the video. In order for you to do this multiple bus, you kind of got to know a couple of things before you try to attempt to learn this. And the first thing you need to know is how to do the Twisted Sonic and the Twisted Sonic bus. And so you need to be able to be very comfortable doing these two prerequisites. And I would say you kind of got to know how to do the double bus as well. For me, I don't even know how to do the multiple bus. So we'll just go ahead and learn the double bus while learning how to do the multiple bus on top of it. And so I do have a video of me when I was trying to learn how to do the multiple bus and I'll link it up here for you to check it out. And so the mechanics behind doing the multiple bus is quite simple and here's basically how you're supposed to do it. So generally when you're doing the multiple bus it is led with the Twisted Sonic like this. And right when the pin gets about right here, you will actually turn and flip your wrist over. And as the pin is doing a twist on it and spin and you're flipping your wrist over, the pin will continue its momentum and spin around your index finger. And right when the index or uh, right when the pin is coming into slot one and two, you will actually slightly turn your wrist back to keep your palm a little bit straighter. And from there, it, the pin will spin fully into slot one and two. And right when it gets to slot one and two, you actually do a push up with your middle finger and slightly to the side to knock the pin with your index finger so it's up and s and to the side at the same time so the pin could continue to spin around your index and go back to finger slot one and two again and of course you will repeat this over and over to do the multiple bus and now that we know how to do the multiple bus or the concepts behind the multiple bus we'll just get right into learning the multiple bus practicing this Let's see how it goes. <laughs> On the first day of learning the multiple bus, I really didn't do anything special. All I did was broke down the steps of the multiple bus into smaller steps so I could focus on that. And so on day one, all I did was focus on the bounce of the pin, like bouncing the pin with my middle finger to try to get it to spin around my index finger a second time. You can see that when I actually incorporate this bounce into the Twisted Sonic bus, it started messing up my Twisted Sonic bus badly. It's like I don't even know how to do the Twisted Sonic bus at all. But even still, with all of that, I still managed to get really lucky and this happened. first one and so that was my first double bus and it wasn't the cleanest and the smoothest double bus but I'll take it so that's not too bad learning the multiple bus or attempting to learn how to do the multiple bus but really trying to do the double bus first it wasn't too bad I managed to get a double bus in on day one so that's pretty pretty good so we're doing day two of learning the multiple bus. On day two, the bouncing thing that I did with my middle finger, it got a little bit more stable compared to day one. And what I mean by that is, uh, the pin isn't flying over the place when I'm actually doing that slight bounce with my middle finger. And because of that, I managed to do this. Wow, I think I kind of get it. And so by the end of day 
two, I was able to do the double bust every so often, not consistently, but every once in a while. So it looks like by day two, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing the multiple busts more than once, not consistently, but I'm still able to do it every now and then, which is pretty good. I'll take that. I was thinking, hey, you know, maybe the multiple busts isn't as hard as, you know, many people were saying. And well, I was wrong. I actually improved to day two at this point, and I got stuck here for a really, really long time. So I don't know what day it is exactly. Lost count, let's just get right into it. That's a good start. <sighs> okay, so it's been a little over a week. Um, this multiple bus thing, it's quite hard. I will admit it. It's really difficult. Still don't know how to do the multiple bus yet. I am slowly getting the double bus down. I'm getting more comfortable with it. Hopefully today I'll get it more consistent. And once I get the double bus consistent, I'll just go ahead. And even if it's not consistent, I'll still go ahead and just try to multiple bus. And so after 16 days, I was able to finally do the multiple bus for the very first time. And uh, yeah, that took a really big toll on me emotionally and mentally. So the question is, what happened? And was it just luck? Was I able to learn something over the past two weeks besides just practicing it for two weeks straight and developing a strong muscle memory so that I don't have to really think about it? Well, yeah something changed and it was a little bit luck as well and so here's a couple of things that i changed up in the two weeks that i was practicing for me to be able to do the multiple bus and so what i ended up changing to get three bus i did a lot but this is what worked for me so before i would hold the twisted sonic like this to do a twisted sonic i would go like that right but now instead of holding the pin flat uh, or horizontal i actually hold it like this more diagonal and um i just do a twist the sonic like that and from there right when the pin gets about right here i would actually have the pin uh, between my index and middle finger from there my hand will be like this right and i would just turn it over and the pin will flip over and around my index finger so but the thing is um before i would actually turn it over and the pin will spin over like like that but but now when I'm actually turning my wrist, I kind of swing it to where this center of gravity of the pin right here actually rides around my index finger like this. And right when, and the tricky part is the pin has to come into this finger slot every single time for me to do these multiple busts consistently. Sometimes though, when I do the multiple busts and swing the pin, it will go right here. And this is when I start having trouble at keeping the multiple busts. But if it spins around and rides the web in my finger slot, I will do the multiple bus most of the time. Right when I turn my wrist, the pin's coming into this finger slot. Right as it's coming into this finger slot, I would turn first, like slightly turn first and do a bump. So pins right before it comes in here, the finger slot, turn my wrist back and do a bump and it will spin around again. And I will repeat this process and of course, I'm not, I'm not repeating it well enough because I'm not consistent on doing the um, multiple bus. And now the question is, what now? And well, I only was able to do the multiple bus once and I was never able to really duplicate it again. And so I want to get the multiple bus down consistently before I say I'm able to learn it. That means I got to go back and practice a little bit more. And so I spent an additional week practicing the multiple bus to try to get it down more consistently and roughly on the 22nd day of learning the multiple bus i'm in a weird spot with this pin trick or pin move or pin combo or pin linkage whatever you want to call it um basically i'm able to do the multiple bus every five to seven try right and then between all that is all mess ups 
and basically what that allows me to do is I'm able to set up different camera angles and capture the multiple bus at different perspectives and at the same time what's weird is I was able to actually do the multiple bus every other time with this clip but also I'm not too too consistent to actually do it as often as I would like and so since I'm in this weird spot with the multiple bus where I'm kind of able to do it consistently I'm kind of not um, I guess we could put it to the real test the true test that I always do in, at the end of every video and it's if I could do this uh, pin move or the multiple bus three times in a row then I can say that I learned the trick One more, please. <laughs> and so, yeah, I wasn't able to do the multiple bus three times in a row. And so what that means is I didn't learn the multiple bus yet, or at least have it consistently enough for me to be able to do it comfortably, which means that I still need to practice the multiple bus and get it down and so I spent the total of 22 days practicing the multiple bus and within these 22 days I spent roughly about an hour each day a little bit more a little bit less and so the total time that I spent within these 22 days is a total of 25 hours and 28 minutes that's pretty much all I have for today and if you enjoyed the video please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and like always thanks for watching and until next time